So Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan are probably the two biggest Asian names in American film history, but they couldn't be here without Anna Mae Wong, who is widely considered the first Asian American in Hollywood. And before we get too far into this video, you might be asking, well, how is this related to comics and, you know, action figures? Well, in 1931, there was a film called The Daughter of the Dragon, where Anna Mae Wong played a character who was a version of Fu Manchu's daughter. And Fu Manchu was originally the father of Shang-Chi uh, before Marvel ran into licensing issues and had to kind of right away that Fu Manchu was his father. So now we can move on. Born in 1905 in Los Angeles, Anna Mae Wong began acting at a young age. She would actually start in silent film, and in fact, her first starring role was in a movie called The Toll of the Sea, which was also one of the first films that was made in color. She's most famous for the movie The Shanghai Express, but she was also the first Asian American to lead a US TV program. And so last year, the federal government decided to celebrate Anna Mae Wong by creating a quarter with her likeness on there. And I just got that the other day with the help of a friend. But since then, Barbie has also decided to release an anime Wong figure. And so I'm probably not the target demographic for this uh, toy, uh, but obviously I bought it anyway. It is my first Barbie and uh, may not be my last, I don't know yet. But I wanted to take a look at this today and kind of see what we get out of it. Because what I really like doing is seeing how accurate the uh, toy is to the source material. And so we'll take a look at that right now. So here is our box. And I think that most Barbies generally don't have a box that is designed to be uh, kind of displayed, but this one is actually really nice. This would actually work pretty well in, an, in a display. Uh, we have a brief bio of Anime Wong. Uh, again, 1905 to 1961. And then the other side, but if you look closely, you can actually see this nice uh, floral pattern in the black. So looks really nice. And otherwise for a collector, this would actually look pretty good in a display since it is, uh, I think kind of display quality in that kind of sense. And so for me, since I don't really collect Barbies, I'm not really worried about displaying this one. I actually am not sure what I'll do with this one when I'm done with it, but you can see uh, already that there is a stand uh, to probably help keep her propped up. All right, let's get it open. I just wanted to say that I really like this design, basically finger holes to help you open it more easily. Uh, that's really cool. I like that. Um, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but the only way to fully remove it was by also opening the bottom, but the bottom didn't have any tape, so it wasn't that big of a deal. If anything, that might even mean that I wouldn't have to open the top and that I could have just opened it and pulled it out from the bottom. So uh, if you're a person that wants to keep the tape sealed, then that would be a thing to consider uh, as well. Here's a certificate of authenticity. I don't know how legitimate this is or not. Um, if this is a specific like serial number, then that would make this pretty uh, legit, but I don't know if that's a thing or not. I guess, again, I don't collect Barbie. So if you know, then definitely let me know in the comments. So I've almost got it out, but they unfortunately put these tabs into the head that appeared that they need to be cut in order to remove it. So if you're going to remove from box with the hope that you're going to put it back in, uh, just keep in mind that you're not going to be able to perfectly uh, get everything back to the way it was. I also needed to cut off um, a tab that was connecting the dress directly to the box. Uh, there was no kind of way to undo it. Um, it had to be cut. So I did my best to preserve the actual box background thing that it comes with as best as I can because I kind of like it as a backdrop. Otherwise, we have our base for the stand. Here's the stand itself. And then we have a, looks like, to hold the Barbie upright. And here is our anime Wong figure. And here she is on the stand. She doesn't actually come with any accessories, uh, no alternate hands, no alternate heads or bags or anything kind of like that. Um, so what you see is what you get right at the feet. I, she does come with these uh, gold heels. So that's kind of neat, even though you can't really see them once, you know, you're having her stand but i guess if you're having her sit in a uh, sitting cross-legged uh, position maybe you'd see them the scarf around the neck is neat and it is attached to the straps for the dress the dress itself uh, is nice looking the dragon on this is kind of neat uh, it is only attached with just a few tabs on there so 
uh, you could potentially uh, rip that off by accident if you're not careful. And the thing about the dress is that I couldn't find any pictures of her wearing this particular dress. So I don't know if this is actually one that she wore, uh, famous or not. I did find that she does wear a dress kind of like this in a movie that she did called Limehouse Blues. But that dress was black and the dragon was kind of like all over it. And I'll have a picture on screen so you can see that. But other than that, uh, it's a nice design. My major gripe is really uh, the hair because the hair is kind of frazzled out like that and I guess I was kind of expecting it to be kind of fully smooth back since this I, I suspect most people would be collecting as a just a display piece to leave in packaging and uh, when I first lo looked at it I could see the hair was all kind of like poofy already so I don't know if that's a QC problem or if that's just typical of Barbies or what but that's that. I would say for the head, it does look reasonably good for what the actress originally looked like. Uh, and at least specifically, it does look a lot like the picture uh, that they have on the box. And the, the paint job is actually uh, pretty well done. Uh, she doesn't look cross-eyed at all. The QC is strong on this. I'm not seeing any um, major defects, at least in terms of the uh, face paint application. I think the earrings could be nicer had they actually painted that with some kind of uh, reflective gold. I think that would go a long way with matching with the dragon uh, on the body, but it's still a nice touch on there. And it looks like they can be removed if you wanted to do that. And it is neat that they do put it right at where a typical uh, earring might go on an ear. I don't really plan on going over articulation since I don't think most people that might be collecting this are worried about how articulative uh, that it will be. I suspect it's probably going to be typical Barbie articulation. And just because it might be interesting, I want to compare to a couple other similarly sized dolls. So we have the Bruce Lee that I got from a convention about a month ago or so. Uh, looks like they are approximately the same height and scale wise, they're not horribly uh, different. So those could actually look fine together. And here we have a 12 inch Marvel Legends Iron Man. And those actually look reasonably decent too. Uh, obviously she's much more slender because of the Barbie style, but the heads are actually pretty close uh, in terms of uh, scale to each other. So I think if this were a little bit more accurate in terms of scaling to human bodies, then um, they would actually look pretty good to it, together. So who exactly is this for? I think the first obvious person is for the Barbie collector. And otherwise, I think anybody that likes East Asian representation will appreciate it a lot too. Now, I do think that it is a somewhat of a premium product because these are $35 at retail. So it may not quite be meant for uh, kids to play with. Uh, it might really just be more of a collectible piece. But let me know in the comments what you think, if you think you might be interested in getting one. And if you like this video, then you might like the one where I did a video of all the Asian characters in Marvel Legends form that I'll link right here.